1,400 metres. Racing away from the 1,400 metre marker. Let's see how they play this one. Admiral's guest, the first to go. Roy's Magic a second, then Francisco. Spring Flingers along the inside. Farlands on the outside of runners. They are followed by Vincent. Then comes Drunken Sailor who's near the rail. Farlands very wide out on the track as they move towards that 1,100 metre marker. Gimme the Night is further back in the run. Then Gimme Peace. Then we go back to Buffalo Soldier and Marchetto's out the back of the field and it's racing about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Admiral's guess by a length. In second is Roy's Magic, Francisco, Spring Fling. Further back is Farland on the outside of Runners. Then comes Vincent, Gimme the Night is further back, Drunken Sailors near the rail. They are followed further back in the run at this stage by Buffalo Soldier Marchetto. You can see how those silks have changed there with the mud now coming up with this rain. Top of the lane and Admiral's guess there by two. In second is Roy's Magic. Down the inside, Drunken Sailor. Farlands on the outside. Gimme the Knights also running on. Admiral's guess past the 200. Down the inside, Gimme Peace towards the outside. Gimme the Knight. Admiral's guess just the leader. Down the inside of that, Gimme Peace. But it's going to go to Gimme Peace. Gimme Peace won it. Admiral's guess second. Drunken Sailor third. Maybe Spring Fling ran fourth. Right, so Gimme Peace is the winner. They give me the green light. Dean Canamea, Keegan DeMallo, and they win it well. And number six wins it at 7.80 and 2.40. Second, number 11, Admiral's Guest. It still pays up at the 2.60. Third, number three, the tote favourite, Drunken Sailor. Fourth, number 10, Spring Fling. And then number eight was further back in the run, Vincent. I saw a couple of the riders removing their goggles before they turned for home. As you can see, those silks change with the, the rain and the grass. And uh, I saw Billy Jacobson, for one, removing his goggles before they turned for home. Obviously, it, the rain and the mud uh, and the grass goes into their goggles. But the winner's on the left-hand side. Give me peace, number six. And this is win number four from 17, and they win it well. That's all, and we'll be back here on Wednesday, also from Hollywood Beds Gravel. Craig Peters signing off. Horse's name is Gimme Peace, he's come through and this is a hat trick for the son of Gimme the Green Light and he's come through to win very well later on. You've joined the stable recently and the winner's box seems to be where you are. <laughs> I think maybe it's just luck, you know, it's, uh, it can happen. But I mean, I must say thanks to Keegan, he rode a great race, managed to switch him off. I think maybe it helped with the two scratchings in the race so we could come in to draw 10. He rode a peach of a ride, he gave him a chance, he settled nicely, he came in the straight and it was just how far he was going to win by Keegan said. We got the meeting just in time because the heavens have now really opened. Yeah, no, definitely. Thank goodness uh, the rain only started like a little bit on and off during the day, but we were lucky to finish the race meeting. Safe trip home. Thank you. I just want to say well done to Dean and the connections. Thank you. Well done to the stable. The winning rider is Keegan de Mello. Garth Pull has just given us the thumbs up. He's on his way home. He was close up earlier on. Winning rider Keegan de Mello. He's making his way back. Don't run, Keegan. Don't slip. Take it easy. It's very, very wet out there. We'll give him some time to make his way to the winner's box here. And just looking at the conditions in the last luckiest run now. Yeah, thank goodness. You know, the, um the course held up nicely and um, the rain stayed off for as long as it could. And uh, yeah, big thank you to, to Mr. Kenneman and his team, Mr. Mr. Russell and Mr. Shirkliff. Thank you very much for the opportunity. He's won a good race today. That horse Admiral's guest, he's a resolute galloper, but coming to the 200, you started to move in. Yeah, look, um, uh, uh, um, Yuzel thought we had a good race. He skipped at the right time. I got stuck in a bit of traffic. And uh, yeah, once his horse found a clear run, it was um, just a matter of him putting his head down and um, getting there. And um, he's a really nice horse that's matured nicely. Just big, big well done to everyone for, for the opportunity and thank you. He seems to really be enjoying KZN. Yeah, look, when I rode him um, in Cape Town, I said, please bring this horse to Durban. We'll have a lot of fun with him. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad it's paid off. We, we've, we found out what he's liked and um, the sort of distances he wants. And uh, 
we're working as a team and, uh, and that's nice. Go have a nice shower and a safe trip home. Yeah, thank you very much to Mr. Kanemeyer's team. Thank you very much for the opportunities again. Well done to Keegan de Mello, Admiral's guest, running a good race in second for the exactors and the place bets. And then I think Warren Inferno is doing the 1,000 Rand token. Tabo, Tabo Nkwangi. Tabo Nkwangi. Hope we got that one right there. Courtesy of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle, the 1,000 Rand token. If you got the exactor in the last, give me peace and Admiral's guest, round about 74 Rand. And luckily the meeting is done and dusted because the heavens have now started to open. Safe trip home. We'll catch you here on Wednesday.